everyone. I thought I'd just film my craft room. I kind of cleaned it up yesterday. And someone had asked me, how do you uh, put your craft room together? Well, I really don't have any method. I don't. Uh, everything's kind of mismatched, uh, mod podged, or whatever you want to say. I just put it together and uh, just buy storage boxes and uh, use those uh, little bulletin boards to stick things on sometimes that's got some stuff on it for uh patterns and uh look at the little rabbits down there little banner of rabbits anyway i buy these boxes and different things and tubs and um those plastic drawers i really like those real well that's got my scrapbooking paper in this one down at the bottom i've had forever bought it at a Kind of probably the goodwill and look at my cards y'all oh i love my cards that's from alice and jane thank you so sweet i said there's that little uh, angel you gave me i just set her up there i thought she's cute sitting there and that <laughs> little wooden doll i've had forever i think it was set on a swing one time i don't know why i like it it's just cute and that little uh robot there reminds me of myself when I'm looking through the drawers believe me I can get cross-eyed and everything else trying to find something and uh, my husband collected old toys uh, when we would go out reselling he'd always look at the toys because he said those are going to get popular one day I don't know how old that is and what era it was it may have a date on it but I don't know but anyway my great-grandson had them out playing, and I think this one got stuck in my craft room, so I just left it up here. It's just some different things. Those are some stamping I did, and I was going to make a four-season out of a barn. And and I, I, I when I stamp, I add trees. I do a lot of things. I add water to that one. It's not this the stamp. was just a barn and a tree, and I add a lot more to it free-handed <laughs> or sometime I use another stamp to stamp with appears my collection of uh, old uh, rabbits maybe you can see them I've had them forever some of them are really getting old most of them were just bought from resale those little ones that are painted up there I did one time and those little furry ones, they're really vintage ones. I went to a resale shop and this, so I bought a lot of old uh, vintage uh, Easter stuff from a lady. And these little boxes have my scrapbooking paper and that one with the flowers on it there, that big long one uh, is full of cut up, those cup dollies ready for whatever I want to do with them. And, uh, and these books here are different kinds of scrapbooking books and uh, mixed media and quilting. I love that ribbon quilting and I just always buy a lot of things and love looking at it. Have I done it? No. And there's my little picture of the cute lady with the eyes. I just think that's cute. And this one here, uh, she just came out of, I was redoing those pictures the other day and she just came out of that batch of pictures. I like the little table she's standing by. Uh, anyway, I wondered what era that was. And then here's some more of my collections of things. These are mostly all just purchased from that sh uh, from resales long years ago. Or that one was uh, some spools. I mean spools. Uh, thimbles. And a lot of cute little things I don't know how well you can see them but kind of dark back up in there and my jar of marbles and little bird houses anyway make and mend I love this book it takes me back thinking of my mother how she used to say that she even took daddy's old trousers and old coats and made the boys their clothes you know that was in the 40s it was kind of a thing for victory if you it's conserved a lot of things. This one here, too, I bought it. Both of these books I got off of eBay, but this one was just a, somebody had just printed it off, but it's this book of a bag of tricks, uh, the feed sack. I love feed sacks, as you can tell. I 
brought some of them out and thought I'd just look at them and think about what I'm going to do with them. I got a lot of these quilt blocks. So this one here, I, I have a bunch of these. And I just always get so fascinated how the women were so conservative. They didn't throw away a piece of nothing. See how tiny that is? And they just quilted it together. They didn't care how they mixed and matched. And these were usually quilted upon a piece of paper. I have a few that had the paper still on them when I bought them. These are the uh, plates. They like the middles, but I have a lots and lots of old quilt things. Uh, this one looks a little bit more modern day. Probably, uh, I'm looking at the material. Some of it's old. Some of it is not so old. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with all those quilts. There's my sewing machine. I mean, quilt blocks. I, I have my old quilts, but anyway, uh, there's my serger, and uh, there's, this is, this was an old computer desk, and I decided to use it for a sewing machine. It's just perfect for that. Anyway, it's got the drawers in it and everything, and that's my collection of spools. And that's old bobbins. I bought those just to use in my crafting and framing and such. Uh, I haven't had those too long. There's a little junky corner, but it's got some important things in it, but it just looks junky because I've got it just kind of stuck in there. There's a little junky shelf. <laughs> my little collections of this and that. Uh, there's some little watches in that bowl. I was gonna and I, actually I was gonna take a bunch of watches apart to use in mixed media you know everybody was using the watch parts well I know now why they sold them so expensive I thought well I'll just buy the old watches they're not easy to take apart anyway there's my stamps my wooden stamps I think down under there might be my other kind of stamps I'm fixing to put my clear stamps in notebooks there's a uh, I brought this in from out of the storage room. I repainted it and brought it in. Well, needless to say, I couldn't find a place to hang it after I brought it in. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in the house or take it out again. I thought I could find a wall, but everything's covered. This is just some little goody stuff. Old age isn't for wimps. And down here, some more goody stuff. Just different things. Anyway, my ladybug doll, and she cute. Anyway, just I have a lot of rag stuff, uh, and this just different things that I have. I just like stuff, and this right here is a memory board of things that remind me of my past of life and my husband, and I don't know. I like it in my craft room, and that heart up there my little great grandson brought it to me at valentine's with his handprint on it isn't that cute and he fixed that up for his great granny uh, there's an old that old log cabin uh painted up there i did it probably 40 years ago i used to dabble and that was what i did just with oil paints loved to oil paint the little cabin never did look very good but i did a bunch of those up on shingles and uh my oldest daughter took a lot of them, and she has them hanging in her den, but nobody really wanted that one. It wasn't a very good one, but I kept it because I painted it. Anyway, there's a picture of my mother and daddy, and uh, there's a picture of me with Bob haircut. Can you believe that? <laughs> my uh, went to visit a friend, and she wanted to play beauty shop, and she cut my hair, and then they had to take me to the barber to get it bobbed my mother never let me go play back with her and there's a picture of me and my husband when we were in our early 40s i think we were just turned a little over 40 and uh, i love that what a story and my his favorite saying are we having fun yet when i had the grandkids there he is when he's in vietnam the problem of his cancer came from vietnam that was when he was the chief of police and he's uh he had uh that Pictures on the wall, he had all four of those sons 
were in the Vietnam at the same time. It was his mother's children. Uh, well, some were some that she she uh, actually it was his stepmom, but she loved those pictures of her boys. That's me. I think I might have said thirteen. And that my little granddaughter, when she was little, the one that has the great grandson, made this little book up one time, and I said, "Be a cheerleader for Jesus," and she made this little book. It was a little put together thing, and give me a J E S U S. <laughs> she used to, she and I used to shout it. Uh, and that was a Bible verse, Acts two thirty eight, that we had up on the highway. Uh, where we lived one time, my husband put it up, and you would be surprised at the people that would stop and talk about that and ask us questions. There's a picture. Uh-oh, it's getting a lot of shine. In it. My husband waving there. We were having a barbecue long, long time ago. And uh, don't ask me what the picture was about. Somebody took the picture. Anyway. Uh, a lot of memories in here, too. And this is some of the stuff I just moved yesterday. Changed this up. It did have a bunch of drawers here that I had my collection of my stuff in, but I changed it. But this that was over on the table, and I moved it over here. And there's those beautiful things that Olivia, thank you, Olivia. I thoroughly will always enjoy those. They're so pretty. I just enjoy looking at them. They uh, inspire me just like anything. And that right down there, uh, Gail Faba Four gave me. And uh, these, most of these boxes here uh, came from the Goodwill. I just collect things like that. I'll find them, and even those pink ones with the white dots. And of course, if I trip, fancy them up, but I don't have time for all that. I love these old pin cushions. And I find these, that's an old old pen there. Look at that, how pretty it is. I don't know, I just stuck that just for you up there the other day. I guess it fell off of something. I like collecting old sewing goods. I have a lot of that. Look at those little bears. Huh, they're catching ladybugs. Can you believe, this is what I see out this window. You know, I've showed you the woods. And I have some beautiful pictures of red birds and different birds that have plopped there. As I'm doing something in the craft room and they're sitting in those woods so pretty looking at me. I love the old jars when I find them. Filled with the old sewing goods. That one there. Uh, the reason I picked that one up, it was uh, at an antique shop. It's because it's got, I don't know whether you can see that plastic in there. But that's an old uh, clothes sprinkler. We used to stick them on top, and when I saw that, I went, I got to have that. Look at the old grippers. Let me see if I can get a good light on that. I make a lot of jars up full of, I call it, little treasures. And that one's got a lot in it, but I can't show it very good. But look at this one. It's this star snaps. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And my old little feather sewing machine. It still works perfect. I just like to display with it. I have a lot of old sewing stuff. But, you know, I've got that other machine in there in the other room. This corner over here is kind of a cute corner. I started fixing that and haven't finished it yet. But uh, using the old wedding bows, thought about uh, staining them. But I like them like that. And then I added some old pictures on that board. And then I love that, uh, looking at that that painting or there I always think that's going to make me inspire me to paint again well if I had time sometime I think about it I guess I do have time I just don't do it I just redid those up yesterday fixed that this is where I do most all of my uh when I'm doing my uh hot glue just add glue folks <laughs> My husband ran one time for public office, and we had those fans made up, so I keep that out just for the fun of it. All right, and that's my little twirling table. Here's the other part. And then as you go around the room, I uh, can't show it all. Maybe one day I'll show more. Another desk, and that's my patriotic look. All right, y'all stay safe in Jesus, and I will be back. Bye-bye.